Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. Sim Update 10 is here. For both PC and the Xbox consoles. As you can see I'm flying on my Series X with my rather average TV there but it'll do for now. But as you can see SIP functionality on the Xbox console. SIP functionality, it works. And it works fine by default. But there's a couple of issues. It's not necessarily to do with the Velocity one. It's more to do with the Asobo update. But I'll get into that in this video. I'm also going to show you, for those who are unaware... I'm not sure how to get SIP functionality on their Xbox consoles. I'll show you quickly how you get this up and running. Okay, there's a lot to cover in this video. Let's not hesitate. Let's get into the video. And so to start, for those of you who are unsure and want SIP functionality on your Velocity One on Xbox, I'm going to do it this way and just point at the TV because I want to concentrate more on the Velocity One in a moment. So it's just easy. Just go to the store. You essentially want this, the Turtle Beach Control Center. You want that app. If you don't have it, Go to the store icon, I'm sure a lot of you have it already. And in the search function there, just t start typing in on the store in the search function, Turtle Beach, I put Turtle B. And at the top there, as you can see, it's come up as a suggestion. Click on that, install it. In fact, if I click on it now because I own it, I should be able to launch the app as I already on it. So launch your Turtle Beach app once it's installed. And there you go. And then you want to go to Velocity One Flight. Just click on that. Using my A button rather, clicking on it. And it says, please set your Velocity One into update mode. Okay, so let's. this is where the fun begins on the Velocity 1. First thing you want to do is make sure on the, oh, let's just see, input mode. Click the tick button here, second button. Make sure it's on Xbox. That's important if you're using it on the Xbox. And then go to settings. I can go up to get to settings easier. And I can go up again using the up arrow just to get to firmware update. I'll click on that and then use your down button and then click your tick here. I'm not going to put it into update mode because I'm on firmware. As you can see there, I'm on the latest firmware, 1.3.3. So I'm already on the latest firmware and this worked for me because I, I was on the latest firmware on my PC. They seem to be interchangeable. Once you've got that set up, let's just come out of Turtle Beach. You can then go to your flight sim and I'll show you what happens. Go to flight simulator and start it. There you go, it's starting up. Watch the velocity one. It's just going to take a minute to start up. Do 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 do. There you go. The Velocity 1, your SIP panel, status indicator panel, will go blank, which is the first time that's happened on the Xbox. Don't worry, it doesn't stay that way. But when you're loading up the SIM, that's what will happen. Okay, listen, I'll load up the SIM, SIM and then I'll come back. So let's get to the main issue. Now, this is more a SIM update issue. By the way, when you load into Flight Sim, you should notice this, some lights come back on your SIP panel, which is all nice. I'll get to that later. But the issue that many Xbox users are facing, 
when you load in, all you get is the Velocity 1 on the Velocity 1 flight is default and nothing is assigned. All the assignments are gone. You don't have any of your profiles. Now I've tried logging in as a different user. Then I logged out and logged back in as my default, my Hodison username. And it was still the same. Now thankfully you can still assign. I've just done a few different assignments. So you can still assign things manually. Unless this is fixed, I will likely have to make a video of setting up your Velocity 1 from scratch. I'm thinking that this, hopefully, it, this issue will be fixed. I may make that video anyway, just for people who are encountering this problem. I want to set up the Velocity 1 from scratch. So I may make that video anyway, just, just be aware. I'm just going to show you something on screen from the uh, Turtle Beach Discord. I'll link their Discord down below in the description. One of the mods, uh, they're saying it's not a Turtle Beach issue. I completely agreed with him. It's a Microsoft or a Sobo issue. It just wiped out your profiles for the Velocity one and the whole task one. I've not tested that yet, but apparently that's the case as well. So you're just going to have to set things back up from scratch. It's not too difficult and I can do a quick video on that later this week. I'll probably do that video anyway just to help people. But just be aware of that. You're going to have to set up a few assignments if you want to use your Velocity one. They're saying that if you re reinstall the sim, which nobody really wants to do, then all your profiles should be back. Just hold off on that. I'm not sure if that's proven. One of the moderators is saying reinstall flight sim. I'm not fully convinced by that and you could be in the same position. So hold off on that and maybe wait for the video off setting. But you can just go through assignments, set a few flight controls. It's not difficult. Brakes. I've set up autopilot power management for the throttle. Wasn't too difficult to do, but I like I said, I'll probably release a video on that. Well, listen, let's get into a flight and show you the SIP functionality, at least. So let's get to the good stuff, shall we? The SIP panel is functioning. Now, I'm on uh, runway uh, 227 at London City Airport, of course. People are calling it Hodison International now, which is fun. <laughs> I've just set up my fuel, I've got it at 15%, just to check whether the fuel low light will come on and the master caution light, and indeed they do. I'm just going to alter that fuel, I'm just going to increase it. There you go, they will go off, 18%, 17% you'll get a fuel low warning. Actually 18, 19% you'll get a fuel low warning. Let's so just set your fuel at 17%, master caution will come on. I'll lower that a bit more. If you lower it too much, you'll get the fuel low flashing. Let's just increase that fuel a little bit. And then I'm just doing this. I'm trying to keep you in shot here. There we go. Now I've turned down the brightness of the SIP panel, so hopefully you can see things a little bit clearer. This is the parking brake icon. I've got a button set up for parking brake. Take my parking brake off. All works. I've got a button set up on autopilot and thankfully that works with the Xbox with this update as well. There was an issue with the recent SIP update, I'll have to check it on PC now whether this works or not. But the autopilot light works as well. So there you go. I use this SIP panel quite a lot when because I like to fly with realistic fuel. So when it starts to get low, I like it warning me and I do like it letting me know without looking at the sim, just looking at my status indicators panel, that my auto product is on or off. Of course I've got flaps set up and they work fine as well. First stage of flaps, white, and then if you put it full down it'll go green. And then I can just take them fully up again. I've just retracted the flaps. So at least that's working, and it's working as good as it does on a PC. The other thing, I don't think that's in at the moment, I couldn't find it anyway, to have your own bespoke SIP panel, your own bespoke SIP warning light. So I'll, do make, I'll link the video in the top right that I did of that for the PC. Don't think that's available yet for the Xbox. To be honest, I'm pretty much using this default template 
for both PC and Xbox anyway. So there you go, it's working well. Listen, I won't drag out this video. SIP functionality is working, unfortunately, in the sim currently at least. This may change by the time you watch this video. But your profiles have been, well, they're not there now for the Velocity 1 when you load it into the sim. So you're going to have to set things up manually. Like I say, I'll likely release a video for that anyway in the not too distant future. Just so you have that as a reference if it's fixed or not. Anyway, great update. For the SIP panel, not so much for your profiles, but listen, let me know your thoughts on this video. Give it a like if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, particularly if you want to see that uh, setting up your Velocity 1 from scratch video. And I'll see you soon.